You have shown us the way to the Father, Lord, and Lord. You have given us the consolation of the truth of Christ and us. You are the good shepherd, leading us into everlasting life. Have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, in the abasement of your Son, you have raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy, for on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the farther they went from me, sacrificing to the Baals and burning incense to idols. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I fostered them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet though I stood to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Let me see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Let me see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken. From your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth, rouse your power. Let us see your face, Lord, and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Let us see your face, Lord, and you shall be saved. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, As you go, make this proclamation. The kingdom of God is at hand for you. Cure the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Without cost you, are, you have received, and without cost you are to give. Do not take gold or silver or copper in your belts, no sack for the journey, or a second tunic, or sandals, or walking stick. The labor deserves his keep. Whatever town or village you enter, look for a worthy person in it and stay there until you leave. As you enter a house, wish it peace. If the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. If not, let your peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or listen to your words, go outside that house or in town and shake the dust from your feet. Amen, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah on the day of judgment than for that town. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we hear um, Matthew's version of Luke's Gospel we heard on Sunday. As I mentioned yesterday, we are now in the second great discourse of Matthew's Gospel, the Missionary Discourse. And it's addressed to the apostles who will oversee the work of the church. But the work of the church is entrusted, Jesus entrusts his mission to all of us who are baptized. All of us who are marked with the sign of faith. 
So you and I are called as much to evangelize as anyone else. Um, you know, when we were baptized, we became configured to Christ in such a way that that union can never be broken. Remember, we were taught in catechism about that indelible sign that was put on our soul at baptism. Well, that's what that means. That when we were baptized, we were configured to Christ in such a way that that relationship can never be broken or ended. So the challenge for us today is to realize that if we're going to be faithful to Christ, true to that indelible mark, then you and I are called to be credible signs of Jesus to others. And that's how we evangelize, by bringing the gospel to life in our daily grind, in the ordinary interactions and circumstances of our lives. So the challenge for us is to ask ourselves today, are we going to be credible signs of Jesus to those that we meet? Or are we going to bring some dis, um, dishonor to the name of Jesus in how we live? That's the very practical challenge for us as evangelizers, myself included. I can give a great homily, but if I'm unkind, if I lack patience, it detracts from everything I say. And the same for all of us. If we do not put into the love of, if we do not, do not put the love of Jesus into practice in the ordinary things of life, it detracts from the faith we profess. So today as we come to share in the best of food, the body and blood of the risen Christ, we pray not just for clear ears to hear God's word, but the courage and the strength and the dedication to live it faithfully in the ordinary circumstances of our lives. Let us bring our prayers to the mercy of our God. That the church may continue to be guided and protected by the Holy Spirit as she proclaims the good news to all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that all people may be united in Christ through the mercy of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that those who have suffered neglect or abuse may be consoled and strengthened by the healing hand of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That all gather here may receive spiritual and physical healing through participation in the Eucharist, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all who have died may be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For June hour for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today? Lord, hear our prayer. And let us entrust the people of Ukraine to Our Lady's care. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we ask all these things with confidence through Christ our Lord.
accept the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, Although you have no need of our praise, yet our desire to thank you is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but they profit us for salvation through Christ Jesus. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, may our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the height. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, 
Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. God's peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Let us pray. 
Lord, grant that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Have a good day.